good afternoon one and all let me talk about today's topic our body man is a wonderful machine in this nature if you see man there are several organs and organ systems working effectively without taking continuously no tension if you see this structure of a human being a composed by many cells and a group of cells are leads to tissues tissues are giving organs organs are leads to organ systems finally organ systems are making a wonderful organism you see that each and every organ system is having a specific function in our body according to that work is going in our body you see they ensure homeostasis and the viability of the human body depends on these organ systems and the branch of biology studies about human body and organ systems is called physiology that focuses on this all organs that's what i'm saying our body is the best example our body is great inspiration for us hard working and dedication and you say children uh, before going to that today's topic and one more great information sense organs sense organs are five in number sense organs are giving lots of information for us from these surroundings sense organs are five in number eyes ears nose tongue and skin whatever it is the thing is happening in the nature we are getting into body through these five sense organs only eyes for looking ears for listening nose for smelling tongue for taste skin for touch each and every organ is having a specific function that's what sense organs are called gateway of the knowledge so these sense organs are playing very important role to take information into body from outside you see children just now i said organs leads to organ systems human body is a wonderful machine without taking rest continuously it is working if you see several systems in our body digestive system respiratory system circulatory system nervous system reproductive system even skeletal system muscular system etc if you see one by one each and every system having a specific function for example digestive system is responsible for digestion of the food respiratory system is involving in the production of energy you see circulatory system is sending all the materials to the body parts nervous system is taking responsibility about coordination of the body reproductive system you you know well i think the ability of an organism is giving to another one and even you see the skeletal system is also giving a mechanical support and a particular shape to the body you see children each and every system is working effectively individually but this all are working together that's what you see man is a wonderful machine there is no doubt in it this all systems are working together our body is the best example you know english proverb unity is a strength you say children today's our topic is very important apart from human body we are going to discuss that is respiratory system in the respiratory system first organs will come you know well they are super special organs lungs we call them if you see lungs external characters lungs are two in number lungs are spongy in nature lungs are located in middle of the thoracic cavity and you see in these two lungs right lung somewhat bigger than left lung why left lung is smaller because left lung is giving little space for heart that's what right lung has divided into three lobes left lung has divided into two lobes so lungs are made up of by minute sac like structures we have to call them alveoli in singular we can call that alveolus 
you see the branch of biology studies about lungs called pulmonology and uh, not only pulmonologists are dealing that even the doctors also pulmonologists are treating disorders of the lungs. You see children introduction of the respiration is very interesting. The word respiration which is derived from a Latin word of course in Latin respire it is came from the Latin word respire. Respire means to breathe. You see in this respiration two gases are playing very important role. One is oxygen, second one is carbon dioxide and you see oxidation of food into energy, carbon dioxide and water vapor. In respiratory system what happens actually? Energy is coming out. How? When oxygen enters into respiratory system it combines with food uh, finally it gives some end products you see carbon dioxide water vapor energy with the help of that energy we are doing several activities some amount of energy stored in the form of ATP and some amount of energy of course it maintains our body temperature that's what our body is maintaining 37 degree centigrade body temperature you see children it is a catabolic process catabolic in the sense a destructive process it is a quite opposite for photosynthesis process. Photosynthesis anabolic process but respiratory system is catabolic process. Now just now I said that respiration is derived from Latin word. You see discovery of gases. We have to appreciate a lot to the discovery of these all things to our greatest scientists because the scientists are working continuously. Uh, they, are, they are giving many things for us for the knowledge even the same thing oxygen is playing very important role in inhalation process. Who discovered that oxygen first time? Joseph Priestley. But the thing is what Joseph Priestley did not tell that is oxygen. He called that is just living gas. Your name oxygen the term given by the great scientist Anthony Lavoisier. Yeah, by these people we are understanding about the oxygen in the respiration. But you see children, oxygen is 21 percent in this atmosphere that is entering into respiratory system. It is playing very important role. So, we have to appreciate these scientists inventions. And now you see very interesting thing pathway of air how oxygen travels in respiratory system. At the same time what is happening in the respiratory system finally it goes to where? What is happening inside the cell? How it comes back? What kind of end products are coming? This all the things, this all the things are coming through respiratory organs. Means in respiratory system there are several organs that are involving. If you see them if you study them in a flowchart manner, you can understand easily. Yeah, pathway of air, we have to call that pathway of air, otherwise respiratory passes. Several organs will be involved here, nostrils, nasal cavities, pharynx, larynx, trachea, bronchus, bronchioles, alveolus, blood. You see children, one by one what is happening here? First of all in the respiratory system, nostrils. Nostrils are opening structures of the respiratory system. They are two in number. What the gases, what are the gases inside entering? Of course, through nostrils they are entering into respiratory system. Next you see nasal cavities. Nostrils are leads to nasal cavities. Nasal cavities are tube like structures. These tube like structures are made up of by mucous membrane of course the release mucus secretion at the same time hair projections we can see in nasal cavities so nasal cavities of course filter air here hair will air will be filtered at the same time gases moisturized the next part is pharynx pharynx which is also a part in respiratory system which is a common muscular chamber it is separating two systems in our body that is one digestive system, second one is respiratory system. After this pharynx you can see two systems will be separated. 
So, pharynx allows food into food pipe, air into windpipe. After the pharynx, you can see a little fluff like structure which is called epiglottis. Epiglottis is playing very important role while passing food into digestive system, it takes the responsibility of closing respiratory system. That is what it allows food into digestive pipe, it allows gases into windpipe. So, this is the effective role of epiglottis. And next one you can see larynx, larynx which is also called voice box. What is the role of larynx? Before going to that, why I am calling larynx is voice box? Because with the help of larynx, we are producing sounds. Man is very clever as organism. That is what he converted those sounds into language. How you see that? If you see in exhalation process, air comes out. While coming out, when air passes over the larynx, with the help of that exhaling air, vocal cords which are present in larynx, they rises up and falls down, rises up and falls down. Due to that, vibrations will be created. These vibrations are creating sounds. So, just now I said, man is very clever organism with those sounds, he converted language. Of course, he is speaking. Is, it is very interesting, you try to speak in inhalation. Is it possible? It is never possible. So, always we try to speak in exhalation, not in inhalation. You have to know this thing children, it is very important. Now, trachea. Trachea which is a tube like structure. If you see trachea made up of by C shaped ring like structures. These all structures are giving a mechanical support to trachea to stand from collapsing. If there are no C shaped ring like structures, trachea will be collapsed, but that is not happening here. That is what C shaped ring like structures are giving to trachea mechanical support. Now, you see trachea also contains hair projections, they prevent dust particles, but the major thing of trachea, it makes air cool down. So, trachea is also called in our local language windpipe. Now, suddenly trachea has divided into bronchi. Of course, you see in singular, right is bronchi. Bronchi is plural actually. You can, you can call that in singular bronchus. Two bronchi. One is right bronchus, one is left bronchus. Suddenly, trachea has a divided into two bronchi. Right bronchus enters into right lung, left bronchus enters into left lung. Now, you see children, again bronchus has divided into several minute vessels, we have to call them bronchioles. These bronchioles are showing connection with minute structures, which is a structural and functional unit of the lung. I call it already alveolus. So, alveolus are whole like structures. Through this alveoli, gases are going and mixing with blood. Now, the blood is uh, taking responsibility about transportation of oxygen to all the cells of the body. How? You know well children, blood is having three type of blood cells, RBC, WBC, platelets. Here, RBC responsibility is what? Transportation. So, RBC is uh, taking responsibility about transportation of these gases oxygen into all the cells. When it goes to cell, already we studied, cell is made up of by cell membrane, which is a selectively permeable membrane. So, these selectively permeable membrane allows only oxygen into itself, but it sends back RBC with hemoglobin and of course, it goes to blood again. So, finally, it reaches to cell. Inside the cell, you see mitochondria. Mitochondria will take the responsibility about this respiratory reactions. Several reactions will be takes place. After completing these reactions, end products are coming out. One is energy. Second one is carbon dioxide. Third one is water vapor. 
you see children this all are the end products are coming out very interesting thing how carbon dioxide is coming out in same manner it comes out from the cell again blood cells red blood cells are transporting this carbon dioxide in vice versa that is coming out through this passes finally we have to call that is a process exhalation otherwise expiration yeah in mitochondria in cytoplasm series of reactions will be takes place i said of course energy is very important which kind of energy some amount of energy we use for instant activities and some amount of energy we do we are maintaining body temperature 37 degrees centigrade so that's what energy production is very important some amount of energy stores in the form of atp atp is called adenosine triphosphate it, it is also called energy currency of the cell okay children this is a pathway of course you see here white color and pink color <coughs> white color arrow symbols are showing what that that is about exhalation pink arrow symbols are talking about what is that children you see that one what is that inhalation so that's what respiratory pathway is very important beside of this you see children picture of lungs yeah located in thoracic cavity two in number i said already nostril cavities nostrils opening structures they are epiglottis after the pharynx you see that one larynx i said a voice box we are producing sounds with it and trachea you can see children which is also called windpipe in our local language and next one you see bronchi of course in singular we call that bronchus next one bronchioles a minute structures they are lungs respiratory organs okay children so these are lungs are playing very important role at the place of alveolus gases will be exchanged that's very important thing children and next you have to see that yeah just now i said alveolus which is a structural and functional unit of the lung what happens here actually gases will be exchanged at the place of alveolus when oxygen you see children when oxygen enters into alveolus you see that mixes with blood blood capillary is transporting inside the blood capillary you can see red blood cells red blood cells are transporting that to various cells so what happens there several reactions will be takes place you know already what happens in respiratory system final thing i said energy production carbon dioxide comes out when carbon dioxide is coming back same blood transporting that to back from capillary it enters into alveolus you see it is going to out children in picture so that's what in vice versa quite opposite for oxygen so you see how it enters into alveolus through the bronchiole i said what bronchiole is so bronchi divided into several bronchioles so each and every bronchioles are showing connection with minute alveolus this is a structure of alveolus so blood cells really we have to appreciate them children red blood cells are containing hemoglobin pigment with the help of hemoglobin pigment that is transporting so this is capillary network minute blood vessel children so gases are exchanging here your yeah, mechanism of respiration what happens at the time of inspiration at the time of expiration in the lungs you know well if you see from outside our body give movements uh, yeah we get feel something will happen something is happening yeah but what is happening exactly that's what mechanism of respiration movement of diaphragm movement of ribcage we have to see this too actually interesting thing is lungs are not working individually lungs are working with the help of diaphragm means function of lungs depends on diaphragm first of all what is this diaphragm what is the role of diaphragm we have to know children diaphragm is very important in our body you see first of all which is a horizontal muscular layer which is located in 
thoracic cavity only but at the bottom of thoracic cavity. So, diaphragm is a separating thoracic cavity and abdominal cavity. Now, you imagine diaphragm is like a floor of the room. You know, just you imagine room. Of course, room, room is having floor, no? You, you imagine just that is like a floor. Now, you see thoracic cavity is like a chamber of room. Now, that is like a room. Now, how it works? Inhalation, exhalation. If it is inhalation process, gases are coming into lungs. What happens? Some changes will be takes place here. Volume of the thoracic cavity will be increased. Volume of the lungs will be increased. Chest cavity will be expanded. Chest wall which is made up of by muscle, ribs and skin that will be expanded. Now, you see gases are entering into lungs through respiratory system in inhalation process. How it is happening? Because diaphragm contracts. Diaphragm generally, normally you see like a, like a flow in inhalation process it contracts. That is what it flattens, it flattens. Automatically volume of the lungs will be increased we get a feel what increasing of lungs, increasing of thoracic cavity, volume of the chest cavity will be increased. Okay, what happens in exhalation process? In exhalation process, suddenly you see that volume of the lungs will be decreased, chest cavity will be decreased. You see that chest wall will be lower. What is happening? Gases are rushing out. How? diaphragm relaxes again it comes to normal position again it comes to back that is what diaphragm is pushing lungs that is what lungs are sending gases rushing gases to out that is what diaphragm is walking effectively continuously with the help of <coughs> these special muscles. So, inhalation exhalation when occurs children when diaphragm contracts it is inhalation when diaphragm relaxes it is exhalation at the same time you can see movement of rib cage we get feel from outside what happens increasing of the thoracic cavity at the time of respiration at the time of breathing you see children inhalation volume of the thoracic cavity will be increased rib cage also will be increased ribs are giving protection to lungs and the same thing in exhalation process rib cage will be lower means volume of the rib cage decrease it comes to back it comes to normal position that is what mechanism of respiration is very interesting thing but mostly you see children roll of the diaphragm we have to appreciate. Now you see children I am going to play one activity to make understand it very easy. You see children that is a slide. Children you see this is an activity is telling about the role of diaphragm. You, you listen children that. You, you observe that what is happening again I will tell that what is happening in this video trachea lungs are there you see that rubber sheet you see the contraction and relaxation just now I said The role of diaphragm you can see very clearly by this activity students. With less cost of material, it is very simple. <coughs> now you see these children, 
this activity is telling very clearly about the role of diaphragm. Once again, I will show. <coughs> you see, children. <coughs> you see, children. This is a working model of lungs. How it works? Very simple. First of all, you have to see. This is a straw. Is indicating trachea which is called windpipe. Now, you see trachea is divided into two bronchi. One is right bronchus, the second one is left bronchus. Right bronchus enters into right lung, left bronchus enters into left lung. You see just now I said that this is thoracic cavity. You see like a room, chamber, absorb space inside of it. Now, this rubber sheet is called diaphragm. How it works? Very simple. In inhalation process, <coughs> diaphragm contracts, you see lungs are swelling. You see lungs are swelling. In exhalation process, again diaphragm is going to back, lungs are, lungs are coming to back. So, not filling with gases. It is very simple activity. This rubber sheet is working like a diaphragm. <coughs> with the help of diaphragm, we can observe lungs are swelling and of course, you see that lungs are rushing gases to out. It is very simple. So, once again you have to listen children. <coughs> diaphragm is playing very important role <coughs> in the respiration process. When it contraction, when it shows contraction that is called inhalation. When it relaxes that is called, that is called exhalation. It is very simple children. <coughs> Now, mitochondria, which is a powerhouse of the cell. Mitochondria cell organelle is playing very important role inside the cell. I said already when oxygen enters into mitochondria, several reactions will be takes place. After this series of reactions, energy comes out along with carbon dioxide and water vapor. First of all, you see uh, labeling a parts of mitochondria, outer membrane, inner membrane, cristae, matrix. Outer membrane is giving protection to mitochondria. Of course, inner membrane also same thing, but it is a double membrane structure. Cristae folded like structures, a matrix the space which is inside the cristae. This is a structure of mitochondria. What happens in mitochondria? Energy will be produced through series of reactions. <coughs> aerobic and anaerobic respiration. Before going to that, cellular respiration means what? When respiration occurs inside the cell, which is called cellular respiration. When glucose enters into food through digestive system, that food combines with oxygen which traveled by respiratory system inside the cell. Food combines with oxygen. Next, it goes to several chemical reactions. First of all, before combining with oxygen, you see children, glucose turns into two pyruvic acids. Of course, we call them pyruvates also. Each pyruvic acid contains three carbon atoms. You know well, glucose contains how many carbon atoms? Six carbon atoms. Here each pyruvate contains three carbon atoms, three carbon atoms. Now you see children, this pyruvate, if it gets oxygen, that leads to aerobic respiration. If it not gets oxygen or less amount of oxygen, that goes to anaerobic respiration. So, now we have to discuss about, we have to see the clear difference between aerobic respiration and anaerobic respiration. Aerobic respiration goes with the help of oxygen, anaerobic respiration in the absence of oxygen it continues, otherwise less amount of oxygen you can see that. Aerobic respiration occurs generally in higher level organisms, anaerobic respiration occurs in lower level organisms. Aerobic respiration is giving high amount of energy, 
anaerobic respiration is giving less amount of energy. You see children, if there is no oxygen, if there is less amount of oxygen, what happens? You see, absence or low amount of oxygen generally goes in lower level organisms. For example, bacteria. In bacteria, through this anaerobic respiration, lactic acid will be produced <coughs> along with little amount of energy. Lactic acid which is an end product here. I think you know lactic acid plays a very important thing in the formation of curd. Lactic acid uh, gives a little sore taste. That is what our curd also will be little sore. So, which is an end product in anaerobic respiration of bacteria. And one more interesting thing, even human muscle cells also can perform anaerobic respiration sometimes. If there is no availability of oxygen, if less amount of oxygen, it performs that. So, lactic acid accumulation happens continuously that leads to problematic thing for muscles. So, lactic acid accumulation leads to muscular pains. That is what it is not good for humans. Now, you see, if the same anaerobic respiration occurs in yeast, that belongs to fungi family. It is very thing, important thing, it produces ethanol. Instead of lactic acid, it gives ethanol, the chemical formula of ethanol C2S5OH. You know, ethanol is playing very important role, it is playing very important role in uh, alcohol preparation. Several food items like idli, dosa, avada, this all the type of food items also having association with this ethanol. And the carbon dioxide is coming out as it is like same byproduct, energy is coming out a little bit. So, this is yeast. So, this is also called fermentation process. This fermentation process very, very important to produce several food items, even in alcohol preparation also. Just now I said idli, dosa even bona also. Now, you see children, fine if it is anaerobic respiration, what is happening? I said, but if it is aerobic respiration, what happens? If availability of oxygen, glucose of course, which is turns into pyruvate, that goes through several reactions if it gets oxygen with the help of oxygen, that is called aerobic respiration the best example human beings. Of course, all higher level organisms can perform this one. We are the best example for that. In aerobic respiration, you see carbon dioxide comes out with water in high amount of energy. The best example plants and animals, human beings also. What happens here? When oxygen enters into cell, it combines with oxygen at the place of cytoplasm inside the mitochondria. Several reactions will be takes place. After these reactions, high amount of energy comes out. That energy 686 kilocalories, but in anaerobic respiration that is just 56 kilocalories only. With the help of this energy, we are doing several activities. We are running, we are jogging, we are doing exercise all the type of things we are doing and some amount of energy comes out in the form of heat that is we people are maintaining constant body temperature 37 degrees centigrade and you know children some amount of energy stores in the form of ATP already I told energy currency of the cell that is what even in hunger strike, even in fasting also you can survive without facing any problem. How it is possible? This energy currency of the cell adenosine and tripaspate. So, children this is about aerobic respiration and anaerobic respiration. And one more interesting thing due to this I want to tell most of the students, even most of the people are getting lot of confusion about breathing and respiration. They treat these two words similar, but children absolutely wrong that is. Breathing is different from respiration. Breathing is just inhalation and exhalation, but respiration how oxygen enters into respiratory system, 
how it transports through the blood, how it enters into cell, how it is producing energy and how end products are coming out, everything it talks. So, breathing is a little thing, respiration is having a big meaning, breathing is just exchanging of gases, respiration is energy giving process. Please do not get confusion about this thing children, breathing is completely different from respiration, just it is a part in respiration. Okay, children. Now you see next topic: aerobic respiration equation and anaerobic respiration equation. What happens inside the cell at the place of cytoplasm, at the place of mitochondria? You see, children. C six H twelve O six means what? Yeah, glucose. When it combines with six molecules of oxygen, that is giving six molecules of water. 6 molecules of carbon dioxide and high amount of energy, 686 kilocalories that is very important to do several activities that is what food is giving energy. So, most of the people very interesting thing uh, generally you see in primary level student how you are getting energy, which life process is giving energy. If you ask they give answer food sir, digestive system sir that is wrong thing. Digestive system is only supplying food, digestive system is only transporting food to all the cells, but respiratory system with the help of oxygen giving energy that is what respiratory system is energy giving system. And next one anaerobic respiration you see equation, if there is no oxygen you see glucose directly gives two molecules of ethyl alcohol C2 H5 OH plus two molecules of carbon dioxide, little amount of energy, 56 kilocalories. I said even human muscle cells also sometimes uh, perform this anaerobic respiration, but anaerobic respiration is uh, continuously happens, it gives lactic acid leads to muscular pains. But higher level organisms are performing aerobic respiration to perform metabolic activities in them. You see children, combustion activity, it is a good thing. What is this combustion activity? Yeah, before going to that, first I want to tell a thing. What is combustion? Combustion which is a burning process. You see a scientist Robinson and a Lavoisier, according to them, combustion which is a similar process to respiration. Is it correct? Yeah, of course, combustion is similar to respiration, but you see there are lot of differences between combustion and respiration. But why they said combustion is uh, similar to respiration? You see, combustion is a burning process, even respiration is also burning process. Combustion is also giving energy to out, even respiration is also giving energy to out. Combustion is giving carbon dioxide to out. Even respiration is also giving carbon dioxide to out. So, based on these things, scientists Lavoisier, Robinson, they stated combustion is similar to respiration. But children, you see there are lot of differences between the combustion and respiration. Combustion is not similar to respiration to tell that you can see combustion is a physical process, respiration is a biological process. Combustion takes place outside of the cell, respiration takes place inside the cell. Combustion is giving energy to out, but not in several stages, at once it comes out, in huge amount it comes out at once. But in respiration you see energy comes out in several stages, several stages. Combustion if you supply water it would be burnt, it, it would be stopped. But if you supply water, respiration goes on. Means if you supply water, combustion will stop, but if you supply water, respiration still goes. And you see one more important thing, combustion process completed otherwise closes fast in time, but respiration which is a slow process several reactions will be takes place. 
through this re several reactions, several products are coming out. So, that is very important thing children. And you see children, combustion activity here. In laboratory, it is uh, very suitable to perform. Take a test tube, take some amount of glucose otherwise the sugar. You can burn it, you can heat it with the help of burner and this test tube before heating close it with rubber car and give connection with horizontal glass tube to another test tube which is having already lime water. So, when you start burning up this sugar, what happens here? It releases carbon dioxide because it is combustion. That release carbon dioxide which is collected by horizontal glass tube. Now, you see it collected by a test tube which is having a lime water. That lime water turns into milky white. Yeah, you know children, lime water when turns into milky white, which is the best proof that is carbon dioxide. Lime water always turns carbon dioxide into milky white. So, this is about combustion activity children. So, combustion and respiration having some similarities of course, but children there are completely two different processes. If the same thing is happening, how combustion is happening, same like respiration takes place in cells, what happens you know? Cells would be burnt, cells would be burnt that is what it is not preferable for cells. So, that is what this clear difference you can see between combustion and respiration. Yeah children, this is a great thing. Now, uh, summary you see what we, what we have learnt here. The process of inhalation of A to the use of oxygen in the cells. Yeah, you know children, in inhalation oxygen will be utilized inside the cell at the place of mitochondria. And next you see air passes from nostrils to pharynx, larynx, trachea, bronchi, bronchioles to alveoli and blade and back to the same root. Each and every part we have to appreciate children, every part in the respiratory system, in the respiratory pathway is having something specific function, nostrils and nostril cavities. You see that pharynx, epiglottis, larynx, trachea, bronchi, bronchus, bronchioles and alveolus blurred finally to the cells. Every part at the place of every part something specific function. Now, you see a gases exchange takes place in alveoli of lungs. Lungs which are made up of by tiny structures we have to call them alveoli. In singular you can call that is alveolus. So, these are playing very important role for exchanging of gases oxygen and carbon dioxide. You see diaphragm is floor of the chest cavity I said already you imagine diaphragm is like a flow, when diaphragm contracts it is called inhalation, when diaphragm relaxes it is called exhalation. And next you see children, aerobic respiration occurs in the presence of oxygen, yeah, aerobic respiration takes place with the help of oxygen. Anaerobic respiration occurs in the absence of oxygen, otherwise less amount of oxygen. Aerobic respiration occurs in higher level organisms, anaerobic respiration occurs in lower level organisms. Aerobic respiration is giving high amount of energy, anaerobic respiration giving less amount of energy, even anaerobic respiration also occurs in human muscle cells, but it leads to accumulation of lactic acid that gives to muscular pains. Next, cellular respiration occurs in the mitochondria to produce chemical energy to do work at the cellular level. Yeah, finally, energy is coming out inside the cell at the place of mitochondria through series of reactions. That is what mitochondria role is absolutely fantastic here. We have to call that is power, powerhouse of the cell, power is generating here. So, it is very important cell organelle children. Yeah children, this is about a summary of what we have learnt about the respiratory system. Yeah, project work children. Yeah children, about this topic, I am going to give two projects. So, you have to do these projects at your home, you have to consider, it is very important. 
of course we are giving under the summit samurai prospect children yeah first thing how does corona virus affect the respiratory system corona which is a trending disease which is a trending word you see children even we people are discussing we people are providing online classes through tsat behind of that also corona credit credit is there yeah first of all you see children Corona is making these people locked down. Corona is making mouths shut down. Corona is making migratories what move down. Corona even making salaries cut down. Corona is making doctors run down. So that's what Corona is making many 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 issues. It it is creating lot of problems. That's what. How does Corona virus affect the respiratory system? children you have to do project work on about it you have to collect lot of information i hope you collect now why pranayama is called the art of breathing our tradition our culture yogasanas are very important they are giving lots of health yogasanas are making our body healthier yeah the best yogasana is called pranayama pranayama having a best scope and it is very important long breath deep breath how it is making our body healthier you have to think children you have to collect about information this pranayama i hope you can do it well and next you see children uh, this is a special message i want to give from my side about this class children smoking which is a common issue it's a common problem in the society you know most of the indians are affected by lungs cancer that's what i want to give a message from my side about this thing yeah first you see children some myths most of the people i mean most of the smokers even they are having wrong ideas about smoking air pollution is the cause of lungs cancer not cigarettes lungs cancer is very dangerous but how the think some are having a wrong idea if it if you smoke that not leads to lung cancer when we get polluted air into lungs when we then we get uh, lung cancer that's a wrong thing that's a myth cigarettes are safer than chewing tobacco yeah some people are getting confusion tobacco eating is that but children tobacco eating is of course that is also wrong thing that is also bad thing but cigarettes are very dangerous than tobacco smoking a couple of cigarettes a day isn't Awful. Some people are getting thing. If uh, we take one or uh, two cigarettes, it's better. No children. Even one cigarette also, it's very dangerous to lungs. It leads to lung cancer. Cigarettes help people distress. Yeah, cigarettes also makes you fall in stress. And but the facts about smoking children: a cigarette contains four thousand eight hundred chemicals, sixty nine of which are cancer triggers. Who oh, you see, children? Many chemicals are there in smoking. Four thousand eight hundred chemicals are there. In such chemicals, sixty-nine chemicals are very dangerous. They are cancer-causing agent, cancer triggers. One person dies every six seconds due to tobacco. Oh, in the world, for every six second, one person is going to death. One person is going to die with a disease, lung cancer. Every ninth Indian uses tobacco. It's very dangerous thing, children. India has twelve crores of tobacco users. In India, you see that twelve crores of tobacco. Please, children, it's my request. It's my suggestion. Stop smoking. It's very dangerous. It's not only harm to your health. It's harm to other cell health. So that's what. Please stop that. So smoking is injurious to health. And be well, like our body. how our body is working continuously without taking rest the proverb absolutely true unity is strength thank you children thank you one and all again i'll meet with next topic in next class next class thank you thank you so much